right, the first Division Rival Awards of FIFA 22. Let's open them up and let's see what we can get. Do you guys want to kickstart your Foot 22 team off with a bang? Head over right now to AOEAH.com to get yourself Foot 22 coins and use the code NERD at the checkout for 3% off your order. Link will be in the top line of the description. Okay boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and as you can tell by the title, we are here with the first set of the Vision Rival Rewards of the year. So today we've got my rewards, we've got a few other people's rewards as well that we're going to see in this video. Obviously it's a bit different this year in terms of the rewards you get, the packs you get, and the way it works. So it's going to be interesting interesting to see what kind of packs we get and then obviously in terms of division rivals you then get milestone rewards at the end of seasons we then get extra packs so that's going to be interesting to see i don't know when we get them whether it's as soon as the season ends we get the packs i'm not fully sure but it is completely different this year so it's going to be interesting we're going to open obviously up today the normal div rival rewards and then champs rewards are completely different as well so like as soon as you finish your champ games you can actually open your rewards so completely different structure for both this year so the videos are going to be interested to see how the rewards go if you guys have opened your div rival rewards let me know in the comments below what you managed to get so let's get into them now then we're gonna open a few fifa points after so let's see what we can get all right shout out to my boy robbie we have got his division rival rewards these are actually the first sets we're opening i'm not too sure where he's finished because he's actually already claimed the packs but we'll see the packs that he's got and hopefully they can be good that's what we're hoping you know let's hopefully see a big player for him let's get into them all right i believe he's got the control to open them so we're gonna let him open himself uh he's got a jumbo premium gold pack and a small rare gold players pack He's gone with that one first. Okay, can we see a boards or a walkout here? First division rival awards of the year. It's a boards. Oh, David, you know what? David De Gea is actually pretty good on this game. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know if he's already got him, and I believe it's untradeable. But David De Gea is actually very good on this game. Oh, he's already got him. Has he already got him untradeable? Or are they, oh, these are tradable. He picked the tradable ones anyways. Um, yeah, De Gea is actually solid on this game. But he's already got him, so I guess it's nothing really that special. All right, his second pack. The Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack this time. Seven rares, including one 83-plus overall guaranteed. Did I just see? So you're guaranteed a boards in this. I've never seen that before. This is Galashi, though. What rating is he this year? 85. Okay. I don't know what he's like on this game. He might be pretty solid because keepers are very good this year, as we know. Anyone else behind him, though? What does he get? Okay. Okay. I swear it said... Oh, oh they might have some duplicate rares. Anyone good on the duplicates? Not really. I mean, the packs are a bit meh. I'm not going to lie there. They weren't the greatest, but they weren't, I guess, the worst. All right. On to the next set of rewards. A big thanks to my good friend again, Mr. Matt, we have got here. Uh, Mr. Hefty. Here we go. All right. I don't know where he finishes well. I don't know whether it says similar ranks, similar packs. Uh, I believe they actually are the exact same packs. So, small red gold and Jumbo Premium. Let's go with a small red gold again first because that's what we did last time. I think the other pack uh, should once again guarantee an 83 plus, which is decent. This one, however, is not an 83 plus. It's going to be Danny Olmo, which isn't a great start. Can we see like an Ed Miller Tower or something behind it? Oh, we've got an inform. Um, whether this guy actually sells is a different question but nothing really to shout about in that pack so what we we'll do is restore all of them get rid of the duplicate onto the transfer list and onto his second and final pack all right the jumbo premium gold pack so yeah it does actually once again include definitely a guaranteed 83 plus so we're going to see at least one boards in here whether we get more than that if we get a walkout or more than one boards it is just going to be a board. It's going to be Joel Matip. Uh, I, you know what? Every time I've actually come against Matip, he's actually been pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. Like, pace isn't as key this year as we already know. But the rest of the pack, um, nothing really to get too excited about. Uh, apart from maybe some of these like Brazilian Mexican leagues or something like that that might suffer a bit because of SBCs. Not the greatest pack again. Hopefully, we see something a bit better the more we open. All right, here we go. Shout out to the boy, Mr. Orlando, one of my mods, my long-time mods. Good, good lad, Orlando. Hopefully, we can see some good packs for him here. I didn't see if this was an 83 plus like the others. We've seen an 83 plus, but I don't know if it guarantees it. That's a dub. That is, that is a good way to start packs. That is a brilliant way to start. Okay, Kim Pembe is like extinct maybe at like 50k. I, I don't know if I'm right in saying that, but okay, he's not extinct anymore, but he's over 50k. That is already a very, very strong start there. That's a very strong start. That is what we like to see. More like that. Let's see what he gets in the next pack. All right, here we go. Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. This one does definitely guarantee an 83 plus. Like I said, I didn't see before he opened the pack whether the other one guaranteed an 83 plus, but this one definitely does. So we, we know we're getting at least a board here. It is only going to be a board. It's not going to be a walkout. It's going to be England centre-back this time. It's going to be John Stones. Not as good as a centre-back to get. Who does he get behind Stones? Anyone decent? 
no one really to shout about. I mean, the pool's good in game, but he doesn't go for a lot. But he's he's actually pretty solid in game. Anyone on the he hasn't got any duplicates, so not as good as the other one. But I mean, a compendio overall is actually very very solid. All right, so on to my rewards. I'm not fully sure what rewards I've got, but I know we've definitely got a 50k pack to open here from the bronze squad challenge. So we've definitely got one 50k pack to crack open, but I'm not fully sure what rewards I'm getting from Div Rivals because it says Division 10 here. So let's have a look. What? This is definitely not Division 10. Okay, so I got a bit confused at the options. So basically, option 3, the difference with that and the option 2 is the Prime Gold is tradable. So this one, I get all untradable and more coins. And then this one's both tradable, but a small Prime Gold players pack and less coins. So we're going to go with middle option. That's the ones I usually take. I usually always take untradable options. So this is Div 4 rank 3 uh, that we finished in. I'm not too sure what I would have got in the other ranks. I didn't fully pay attention. But 16,000 coins, a 50k pack. And a Prime Gold Players Pack. We've got two 50k packs to open here. So hopefully, at least in one of them, we can get a walkout. And it can be decent. Let's just give them a go. Oh, also, we've got some packs already in the store here. We've uh, I don't know which ones are the ones that we already had. Small election. We'll go with that first. I think these are all literally just from objectives. Um, so let's just crack them open. And get absolutely nothing in the first one. So not a great start. But okay, so the other one that is Premium Gold Players Pack. We're going to go with next. Yeah, Premium Gold Players Pack. Did we get anything good from this? Not a board either. Not a board either. Come on. What is that? All right. So these are actually now our reward packs. So one of them 50k packs is a reward. And also obviously the prime gold. So let's go with the prime gold. See what they're going to give us here. I didn't see if they guaranteed you an 83 plus there. Oh, they don't. Uh, it's just the Jumbo Premium Gold packs that seem to guarantee you the um, 83 plus for some reason. That's I don't get that. Why, why do the bigger packs not guarantee you stuff like that? But... That pack there, not really that great at all, is it? Uh, 82 is our highest. Let's just see and hope that the 50k pack gives us something a bit better. Oh, okay. So these 50k packs do actually guarantee you now an 83 plus. Maybe it's all 50k packs, but we're guaranteed at least the boards in there, which is good, I guess. You should always have been guaranteed the boards from a... So walkout, who is it? Ah, oh, I've already got him. I've already got him untradeable. I don't know if I've already got him untradeable. We might have to discard him and remember that we have him in the recovery because I, I, I've i got a feeling he could be untradeable. I don't know, but he could be. Who do we get behind him, though? Anyone good? Oh, yes! Oh, that's beautiful! Oh, come on! Marcus Rashford, untradeable. Oh, that's big. That's a big dubs. That is big that we got Rashford and tradable now. That's, that's sorted in terms of Rashford until he gets an inform. Oh, that's sick. Oh, let's go. I'm very happy about that. I am very, very happy about that. Let's go. Let's go. Immobile sadly is untradable though. I think Tielemans might be as well. And I think Acuna is. We're losing, we're losing a bit of fodder here. Um, they might have to be our three quick sell recoveries at this rate. But definitely Immobile I'm going to have to get back. Oh, Rashford is big dubs. All right. Well, that is sick. Uh, whether we get anything better in this one, I'd be very surprised. But let's just crack it open. Both, obviously, once again, sorry, untradeable. We know it's an 83 plus. It's going to be a board this time. It's going to be Brazilian centre mid Artur, who is 83. All right. I don't know what we're going to get behind him. Probably not anything special. Um, no, we don't really get anything in there. But I can't complain because we did get a Marcus Rashford. So, yeah, I'm very happy about that. That is very good. From the first set of Div Rival Awards, I will take... 170k Marcus Rashford. Well, there we go then. I'm very happy with my Div Rival Awards getting Rashford, obviously untradeable, and obviously a Kim Pembe for my boy Orlando, which was sick. But yeah, very happy with my very first set of Div Rival Awards getting that Rashford worth like 170k, which is sick. Like I said earlier though, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below what you managed to get. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>